Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today we're going to be doing a Mystical Beast of Circuit deck profile. So I'm really excited to show you guys this deck, because this deck is a really awesome deck that was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Sienna. And Sienna wanted to see a deck that you could actually summon out the Mystical Beast of Circuit, and it's a really, really awesome deck, because it actually plays one of Merrick's boss monsters, the Egyptian Slime, and can summon out Odeon's boss monster in the form of Mystical Beast of Circuit, which is really, really nostalgic and really awesome. So, without further ado, guys, Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name script, every single video, getting a signed card to mail, and even getting each request a deck profile every single month you're a patron along with Testan. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. But before we do, definitely give Sienna some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into it. So first off, we're playing three copies of the Mystical Beast of Circuit. So this card is a really interesting card that you have to have Temple of the King on your side of the field to summon this card, or it destroys itself. And basically, if this card destroys a monster by battle, you remove that monster in play, and then this card gains 500 attack, which is really cool to be able to just get a monster bigger and bigger by attacking monster, and it already starts out pretty big at 2,500 attack points. We then play three copies of Watch Cat. So Watch Cat can special summon itself to your side of the field if you don't control a monster. And then during the end phase, if it was special summon this way, you can banish this card to be a able to set a continuous spell directly from your deck to your side of the field, which is always going to be Temple of the King, that you can basically grab it and set it directly onto the field. We then play three copies of Karee Bandit for one of the other boss monsters we're playing in the deck, but this card comes in very handy because during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned this turn, you can tribute this card, excavate the top five cards from your deck, and then add one of the excavated spells or traps to your hand. And also you send the remaining cards to the graveyard, which this card comes in really handy in this deck for one of the boss monsters that we're playing, which is going to be two copies of Uriah, Lord of Searing Flame. So this is actually a trap monster deck where you're playing a lot of trap monsters monsters to be able to kind of play around to summon out mystical beast of circuit because they work really well with temple of the kings so playing two copies of uriah is really good in this deck because you can basically set your copies of your trap monsters and then during the next turn you contribute them to summon out your copy of your uriah which can get really big in this deck because you play quite a few trap monsters and continuous traps in this deck so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells, we're going to be playing three copies of Temple of the King. Temple of the King is a really awesome card and has the ability to activate a trap card the same turn it was set once per turn. And you can send one Mystical Beast of Circuit in your monster zone and this card you control to the graveyard to special summon one monster from your hand or deck or one fusion monster from your extra deck. And you can only use each effect of this card once per turn. So this card comes in very, very handy in the deck to be able to activate one of your trap monsters the same turn it was set because it can let you activate one of your trap monsters immediately which is really good to just give you a monster already on the field and kind of treats them like a normal summon which is really kind of neat to just immediately summon them because then you can immediately tribute one to be able to summon out your copy of your mystical beast of circuit onto your side of the field and then summon out one of the very powerful monsters in the extra deck because you can then send this card to the graveyard with the mystical beast of circuit and then special summon out a fusion monster from the extra deck like a copy of your Egyptian Slime, or a couple of the other fusion monsters that we play in the extra deck. We then play three copies of Pot of Extravagance, because we don't super need the extra deck. We have a couple of targets for Temple of the Kings in the extra deck, and a couple of Xyz monsters, but other than that, you don't super need the extra deck. So the extra deck is kind of here to use for your Pot of Extravagance to get you additional draws. We then play three copies of Pot of Duality. Pot of Duality is here because usually we're special summoning our monsters during our opponent's turn because we're activating our trap monsters and then special summoning them to our side of the field as monsters. So this card comes in very handy to just give us that additional look for three at the top of the deck and add one of them from deck to hand, which is really nice. We then play two copies of Magic Planter. Now, Magic Planter is a really good card in this deck because you're playing so many trap monsters. The only thing that's with this card is it conflicts a little bit with your copies of your Pot of Extravagance because your Pot of Extravagance makes it so you can't draw for the rest of the turn so you have to kind of pick and choose which one you activate usually if you have pot of extravagance you're going to activate this which is why i only played this card as a two of in this build so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps 
So for the traps, we're going to be playing two copies of Tiki Soul. All of these monsters, or all these traps, can actually be activated as monster cards, and they all kind of share the ability that after activation, you special summon them to your side of the field, and you treat them as effect monsters, and they gain different attack points and different defense points and levels and effects. So what Tiki Soul does is it special summons itself to your side of the field as a rock-type light monster that's a level 4 with 1,000 attack and 1,800 defense. And it also has the ability that when this card is treated as an effect monster, if another trap card you control is treated as a monster would be destroyed by your opponent's card uh, either by battle or by card effect and is going to be sent to the graveyard you can set it to your spell and trap card zone instead and put it basically back face down so you can activate it the next turn we then play two copies of tiki curse tiki curse is really good because after the activation of this card you special summon it as an 1800 attack level four monster on your side of the field but it is a dark rock monster and it has the ability that while this card is treated as an effect monster if another trap card is treated as a monster battles an opponent's monster destroy the opponent's monster after damage calculation which is really good to just be able to out all sorts of different monsters we then play two copies of zoma the spirit Zoma the Spirit is a really good card in this deck because it lets you special summon it as in defense position as a 1800 dark zombie monster with 500 defense. But it special summons itself in defense position and has low defense points. But it has a really good effect that if this card is special summoned this way is destroyed by battle, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's attack that destroyed this card. So it can actually do a little bit of burn damage against your opponent. We then play three copies of the Angel Statue. Angel Statue comes in very handy and has the ability to special summon this card as an effect monster. Very light level four with 1800 attack and 1800 defense and this card is always or is still treated as a trap card and then once per turn while in your opponent would special summon a monsters while this card is in your monster zone you can send to the graveyard one continuous trap card in your monster zone that was special summon from your spell and trap card zone negate the summon and if you do destroy the monsters and then when this card in the monster zone and destroy by battle you can destroy the monster that was going to destroy or that did destroy this card so this card is a fantastic and one of the best trap monsters in the entire game which is why we play it as a three up we then play three copies of the spider statue this card is very neat because it special summons itself with 2500 defense on your side of the field and whenever you special summon another trap monster to your side of the field it lets you target a card on the field and destroy it, which is really good to be able to just immediately pop a card on the field. We then play three copies of Abyss Stingray. Abyss Stingray is basically here as a good defensive card because this card cannot be destroyed by battle, and it special summons itself as a 1900 attack, zero defense monster. So this card comes in very handy just to be able to protect you while you're trying to get to your copy of your Mystical Beast of Circuit. We then play three copies of Metal Reflect Slime, which is arguably one of the best cards in the entire deck because it summons itself to your side of the field, but it's it's not what it does necessarily is what it lets you summon it actually lets you summon out your copy of your egyptian god slime to your side of the field by sending it to the graveyard you can actually summon that really powerful boss monster which is super helpful for this deck so that's it for the trap monsters and that's it for the main deck let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck we're going to be playing three copies of the Egyptian God Slime. This card is a fantastic card in this deck and really helps out what the deck's trying to do. Because what it does is, is it special summons itself to your side of the field by sending the Metal Reflect Slime you currently control to the graveyard. You can instantly special summon this card to your field. It cannot be destroyed by battle and your opponent um, or your opponent's monsters cannot target cards for attacks except for this one. And your opponent cannot target cards with card effects except this one on your side of the field. So it's a really defensive good card to play on your side of the field and it has 3,000 attack and 3000 defense making it a really good boss monster we then play three copies of blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon this card is a really good card to summon in this deck with your copy of temple of the king and basically this card can pop one card per turn and it's a 4500 beat stick which is fantastic in this deck we then play three copies of red eyes dark dragoon you don't have to play red eyes dark dragoon in this deck but it is i do highly recommend it because it's easy to summon it doesn't get the pop effect because you didn't put a vanilla into it to actually summon it which is a little bit unfortunate but it still can't be targeted with card effects it still can't be destroyed by card effects and it does get the negate which is really good and goes to 4000 so if you're going first this card can come in very handy if you're going second the copy of the blue eyes alternative ultimate can be another option for you guys and it's super nostalgic to be able to play kind of like merrick's boss monster 
your copy of Kaiba's Boss Monster, and then Yugi Joey Fusion, which is really cool to have kind of all of them from the original DM in this particular deck. I really love that. We then play three copies of Last Warrior from Another Planet. Last Warrior from Another Planet is an insanely good card in this deck because it has the ability, if this card is special summon, you destroy all monsters you control and neither player can summon monsters at all. So this card comes in very handy to basically shut down your opponent from summoning monsters, but you can't summon either, which is totally fine for us because once you summon this card, you're basically waiting on your opponent to out it or you're attacking into your opponent over and over and over again until you get to circuit or your opponent outs this card. It's a really good card to basically wait the game out and then basically get to your cards that are really good. We then play a single copy of the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max to do 2000 damage to our opponent. You can summon this card really easily with Metal Reflect Slime and a couple of other cards in the deck. So this card is really good as a one of just to do a little bit of burn damage we play a single copy of baguska as well Maguska is a really good card to put on your side of the field because you play so many level fours in the deck and your trap monsters. You can make this card and basically wait out the opponent, put it in defense position, and then all of our monsters still come to the field in defense position. We then play a single copy of Exiton Knight, just a blowboard, just in case we need to. With us playing so many trap monsters, you don't want to have to, but it's there just in case we have to. So it's a really good one of in the deck, but usually you're going to hit it with extravagance. Anyways, if you want to play another card in the extra deck, you can play Naturia, uh, Naturia, um, the fusion Naturia monster, which basically stops spells and traps, which is another option for you guys if you want to play it over these XZ cards. But I didn't play it because I felt like Dragoons was already doing enough in that different in that uh, negation department, so I didn't really worry about playing that Naturia fusion monster. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and it's a really awesome deck that I hope you guys give it a shot. It's really fun to be able to play around with, and I'm really glad that Sienna suggested this deck because it is is a wild deck and it is fun to be able to play with to be able to summon out this nostalgic monster mystical beast of circuit is just awesome so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys